A number of small Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed-up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. And if the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. Unfortunately for this colony, the Queen's choice of home could not have been worse. This stretch of beach is peppered with burrowed tiger beetle larvae. They lie, jaws primed, with only their armored heads visible from the sand. Anything that stumbles into their pit is speared and dragged below. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait.
A party of Formica Fusca black ants are heading inland. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. The battle has begun. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. The roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The lower ground colonies have relented their siege for now. Night approaches, and with it, it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. The 
The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. There are intruders in the nest. Dawn breaks, and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. Many aphids were eaten in the night. The high ground colony must ration their food carefully. The Fusca colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. The ants will fight to the death.
Rufa colony are sending another assault. They are desperate to reach higher ground. Black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Soldiers are emerging from the Rufa nest. fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait.
The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. Dawn breaks, and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. Many aphids were eaten in the night. The high ground colony must ration their food carefully. larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. The battle has begun. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. More soldiers are emerging from the Rufa nest. There are intruders in the nest.
colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. Black ants and wood ants are heading from their nests to the high ground. The ants must fight. They hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast.
More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. Last night's high tide was dangerously close to the low ground nests. Today is their last chance to relocate. The ants must prepare for their final battle. Many aphids were eaten in the night. Food will be scarce. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fusca nest. The battle has begun.
more wood ants are heading toward the high ground colony. Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. The ants must fight. The day is almost over. The low ground is already starting to flood. The lower ground nests are emptying completely, and the ants are rushing up the bank. This is their final assault. The queen is in imminent danger. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. The wood ants upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. <laughs>